Okay, some advanced ideas to get a smoother bow change and to basically gain more control of your bow is thinking about curves. There's a few different curves that we can think about. One curve is this, sinking into the string and then as you get towards, as you, as, after you get this, the initial sound going, to let it ring, you release release the bow a little bit like this and then right before the next bow chain before the bow you put in the weight sink in and on the bow chain you put a little bit more weight and then release again and you'll see that that's creating a figure eight slightly mostly uh, we have to put the weight on the tip right because the frog it's already heavy so just a little bit there and then a big lots of weight at the at the tip so yeah that's a, that's a big deal is as bow change is the tip, I might need much more weight with the frog, much, much less. So it's not a perfect figure eight like this. I think big, lots of weight and release and then very little at the, at the frog. Okay, let's try that. See if you can see that. So let's start on C natural. So I sink in, then I release, pull the sound, and then I put the weight in. Right before the bow change, I put the weight in, release, a little bit of weight, release, pull the string. So, the figure eight is a feeling. It's in my hand, it's in my elbow, it's in the string. It's, that's the figure eight that we're talking about there. Now, there's a second figure eight. This one is a little bit, <laughs> I think we need another video.